Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Google Search Generative Experience feature. So if when you're on the Google homepage, you might have noticed you have this guy here for Search Labs. And you click on that, let me reduce it a little bit here. Uh, so you have a couple or a few different options here for SGE, the Search Generative Experience, some code tips, and Add to Sheets feature. So if you don't have these enabled, you could actually sign up to get on the list. It, doesn't, it only takes a couple days to get accepted, and then you can start trying them out. So once you turn this on here, let's say we go to a Google search here. I'm going to do a search here for what is the fastest processor today. You can see it does a little, it's generating some information here. So it's similar to, you know, like the BARD and the chat GPT, uh, where, you know, it gives you information from other websites. So this is finding some uh, results for shopping on, you know, Amazon, eBay, Best Buy. Then it's also finding some, you know, so it got some review sites here. And you could show more, and then at the bottom, you have some other questions, or if you want to ask a follow-up question, such as, let's see. There's some of the cheapest ones right there. $29.99, that's pretty cheap, like so. Then let's say we do another question. And you can see sometimes it doesn't give you that. When that's the case, you could click on this Converse button here. Now it gives you some recipes here. And that's just some typical uh, results. And of course you could ask a follow-up. And then let's try something even more basic. So for dogs, it gives you the generative AI response here. And then some, you know, the typical images here and the Google search results. So it's a nice little feature if you want to um, add some extra search functionality to your browser. And then of course, you know, you could just come in here and turn it off if you don't want to have it be shown. And that way you could kind of play with it a little bit. And, and who knows, it might, you know, be built into Google permanently in the future here. So just be ready for that. So once again, just from your main Google page, just go to this guy here. Depending on when you're watching it, if you're watching this after it's sort of released, then this is probably not going to be here. And then you should be able to sign up. Then if you open a different browser like Edge, you'll notice you don't even have that option. So it's going to be a Chrome thing, a Chrome and a Google combination thing. All right, so that was just a quick overview of how it works. So just be on the lookout for it because it might be a permanent thing in the uh, near future. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.